Um, I learned that love is really rewarding when it's an act of service for other people. It doesn't even necessarily... Um, what else do we have? Hello from Cebu. And from Ilo Ilo, hello. Alrighty, let's pop on to the next question. Another love question from Chat NGL. Uh, do you think your love language has changed over time? Um, no. Maybe in terms of like, uh, I wouldn't say importance, but like maybe what I focus on more because I think if your partner doesn't really express in a certain love language that you have, then it becomes more noticeable. But I don't believe that my love languages have changed. Ah, thank you for the question though. Okay, it's a question about the song. For your music video, what? your peg or inspiration from at Mackie Bao 97 Ooh, so my peg for this music video was all about visuals and a play on light um, because I didn't really want to have a storyline in this music video like you may have seen in Angel of Mine um, which is a collab that I did with JR um, I learned that love is really rewarding when it's an act of service for other people. It doesn't even necessarily mean to be defined like, oh, that's your someone you want to be in a relationship with. No, it's like even my charity work, my outreach work, that's an act of love through service because I'm doing something for someone else. And if I think about it, I feel I actually learned that through watching my parents. So me and my parents were a very tight knit unit because voila, Voila, home siblings, I'm an only child, so it was just me, my mom, and my dad. And my mga times na medyo challenging for us as a family, either financially or with medical or just my mga pinagdaanan. And my parents always were a unit and they always did things for the family whether that be working to provide or um, just being there, being present um, and going out of their way, sacrificing things um, for the family. And so that's a, the act of service that I really, really learned. And I think now as an adult, that I'm an adult, it's really reflected in my work because I love the work that I do with different groups, with Smile Train, Young Focus, Red Cross, when I'm able to do all this outreach, is the most fulfilling for me because I feel like I'm able to love other people through service. And it is the most rewarding job that I've ever been able to have. And um, yeah, I just think it's it's really, really interesting. It's very fulfilling for me. Um, so you know, love in the form of acts of service, which obviously was very maximized at my time as Miss Universe, but also continues on now. <laughs> um, let's have a look. Everyone is here. We have 1.4k, 1, 1,400 of you. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for staying up late if you guys are. Um, I super appreciate it. Someone asked, do you still have NAS Academy? Yes! I do. So for those of you who are wondering what was the update about the issue of why I pulled out, just to quickly put it in here, um, the, the issue with NAS Academy, with the Kalingang tribe and Abu Wang Ud has been resolved completely. If you want more information, you could go to the NCIP. Um, it has been completely resolved. There has been apologies made. Um, and everything is very clear and transparent now and I was waiting for this resolution and so now that it's resolved my course how to be a queen is back online and this is just another avenue because I super believe in education and if you guys are interested in that you could visit the link in my IG or Mass Academy slash Catri on the Grade um, but it's just an avenue that I really love being able to emphasize the power of mentorship which I think the mentors in my life have made such an impact and you know seeing as I'm not able to really go out and hold speeches and talks and everything in light of the pandemic this is just an opportunity for me to really reach out to people from all over the world and really pass on the things that I've learned in hopes to 
allow them to really be their best selves and if they're in pageantry or not. So yeah. Thank you for the question though. Um, and thanks to those of you who are sending in comments, but in. Um, hello from Thailand, Vietnam, Philippines. Where's Bailey and Theo? They are sleeping sa taas because alam ko maingay sila. <laughs> and I didn't want you guys to have to have little yapping in the background as I do this live because I mean it is an hour long. I wanted it to be as, as enjoyable for you guys because it is quite long for those of you who have just joined. Thank you for joining. Um, Theo and Bailey, for those of you who may not know, are my two babies, my two puppies. <laughs> um, and they're Colit and I love them. They bring so much joy in my life. If you guys have puppies, let me know in the comments because we can, we can have puppy play dates. <laughs> Alrighty, next question. Hmm. Loving the lyrics ng song niyo po. Curious lang ako, may sunod pa ba after this? From Lori Aquino. Aquino it. And um, after that, um, it was of course my producer. And after that, my parents. And after that, some of my team. And I was just, it was so nervous to do it every single time. But I don't know. I finally got over it. Now you guys have all listened to it, which is crazy. Um, and yeah, that's the only conflict. Getting over my self-doubt. And um, again, I just want to encourage anyone who's maybe watching that maybe you're a creative. In Sulu, I've always wanted to go there. Honestly, I would love to go there one day. I've heard it's so beautiful. Um, hello from the Philippines. Someone says, I've been listening to your song and your covers. Thank you so much. Um, it's your birthday, Andreo. Something happy birthday, Andreo. Um, am I here in the Philippines? Yes, I am here in the Philippines. Um, what's my favorite line in the song? I'm so sorry I didn't see the name of who asked that, but uh, my favorite line in the song. Mm, um, there's a. It, it goes like this. There's a thief who doesn't rest, the word comparison across his chest. So I'm just using a metaphor to talk about like the aspect of comparison, as if it's a person. Of course it's not a person, but um, campaign, which is uh, joining t Filipino artists in music together, so collaborating them um, from different countries. So of course Kabu is based in Australia, I'm based in the Philippines, so collaborating it collaborating together with him for Glow PM was really, really cool. Very well supported by Warner Philippines. I'm very, very um, grateful. Um, and then of course, Twofold, who came in as the production company to create this vision that is the music video. And I am so excited. I only have 40 minutes left until it premieres. Oh my goodness, okay. I got a lot of questions here. I gotta stop talking so much. I hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> um, I have a question from at cat underscore not underscore